Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to do a full deep clean on your Mac computer which will include the removal of all viruses, malware, adware, spyware, and help optimize your Mac to make sure that it's running at its peak efficiency. We're just going to clean out all the garbage. Please make sure to follow along down in the video description where there are notes for all of the steps as well as timestamps. For step one, go ahead and open up the finder and with the finder open, click on go at the top and go to utilities and then look for disk utility and open it up. On the left hand side, just go ahead and extend all of the options. Now before we proceed any further, I do recommend that you save and close anything that you're working on. And then what you'll do, starting from the bottom, just click and select, and then you're going to click on first aid. And then you're going to go ahead and run it, and then click on continue. And just let it continue to run until you get a message like this, letting you know that it has completed. And you're just going to go up to the next item on the list and repeat this process. Just select it, run first aid, and then go to the next one, run first aid, until you've gone through everything in the left-hand column. For step two, go down to the notes down in the video description and click on the link there that will take you to this website to download a free anti-malware scan. We're just going to click on the free download and then allow. And then in our downloads folder, we're going to run the download and then click continue to install and then click on get started. Go with personal, click on maybe later. And then with Malwarebytes open, go to the top left corner, click on check for updates. And then you can click on close, click on the little gear icon and then underneath general, make sure that PUPs are set to quarantine and then close this, hit scan and just let it run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will list them and give you the option to quarantine and remove them. For step three, go back to the notes down in the video description and underneath step three, click on the link which will take you to this website for a free antivirus scan. Go ahead and click on the free download, allow, and then back in our downloads folder, we're going to run the installer. Go ahead and install, click allow, and then continue. If this pops up, go ahead and click on open settings. And then underneath privacy and security, you'll need to scroll down a little bit, but right here, you'll just wanna click on allow. Type in your computer password and then click on close, move to trash, and then continue. On this one, click on open and then allow. When you get here, just click on Avast security in the top left and check for updates. And then once it's confirmed up to date, click on virus scans and then run a deep scan. Again, let this run until it's fully completed. If it finds any results, it will list them and give you the option to quarantine and remove. For step four, we need to make sure there are no malicious profiles installed or set up. So to do this, come up to the top left corner, click on the Apple icon and then click on system settings. In the top left, search for profiles and then just click on profiles. And if there's anything here you do not recognize, you need to select it and hit the minus to remove it. For step five, we're going to clean out our web browsers and we're going to start with Google Chrome. And so with Chrome open, go to the top right corner, open the menu and go down to help and then click on about Google Chrome. This will confirm you're up to date with the most recent security and optimization updates. And then click on the menu again in the top right and then go down to extensions and then click on manage extensions. Extensions are fun and convenient, but they are terrible for privacy and security, a common way for malware to get onto the computer. And so I strongly recommend you remove as many extensions as possible. I would remove all of them if you can. To remove an extension, click on remove and then remove. And then if there is an extension you cannot part ways with like a password manager, at least disable it while it's not in use. Go back to the menu in the top right, go down to settings, and then in the search at the top, search for home. And then right here, show home button. Just make sure this is toggled on and double check the URL to make sure that it is correct and did not get changed. Then come back up here and search for search engine. And then come down here and just double check to make sure your search engine is correct. You can change it if needed. Come back to the search, search for startup, and then underneath startup, just make sure that this is accurate. Make sure the URLs are correct. You can change them if needed. Also be sure to come up to the menu again in the top right, go down to clear browsing data, Make sure to select advanced and then change to all time and then make sure you only have the top four boxes selected. Do not check the bottom four. And we are doing this because if you've had problems with malware or viruses on your computer, there's a good chance you went to a malicious or bad website. So we're just clearing out all the garbage. 
And then once you've set all these, click on clear data. Next up, let's clean out Safari. And so with Safari open, click on Safari in the top left corner and go down to settings. And then in the settings window, click on extensions. Same thing, we want to remove as many extensions as possible. And so we're going to first uncheck the box and then click on uninstall, show in finder, click and drag it to the trash. And then if there is an extension you cannot part ways with, again, like a password manager, at least disable it by unchecking the box while it's not in use. Then go to search, make sure your search engine is correct, and then go to general. Double check these top four options to make sure they are accurate and also just double check the URL to make sure it's something you recognize and was not changed. And then if you close this window, go up to history at the top, click on clear history, select all, and then clear. Last browser is Firefox with Firefox open. Click on Firefox in the top left and click on about. This will confirm you are up to date. If needed, go ahead and hit restart. Next, click on the menu in the top right and go down to add-ons. Make sure you have extensions selected on the left-hand side. And then again, we're going to remove as many extensions as possible by clicking the menu and then selecting remove and then remove. And then to at least disable, just toggle the switch and then click the menu in the top right, go to settings click on search make sure your search engine is correct and then next you'll want to click on home and just double check your home page to make sure the url did not get changed and then last click on the menu in the top right go to history and then select clear recent history make sure it's set to everything only check the top five boxes and then click on clear now step six we need to make sure the mac is up to date with the most recent security updates and to do this click on the apple icon in the top left click on system settings search for update in the search box and then click on software update and it will just verify that you are up to date and to verify that your applications are also up to date click on the apple icon in the top left and then click on app store and then right here on the left hand side click on updates if there's any updates available it will list them here for step seven we're going to make sure there's nothing running in the background that doesn't need to be so to check this click on the apple icon in the top left and click on system settings in the left hand search type in login and then select login items and then right here just get this list down to zero there's no reason for anything to be running on startup and so just select and then hit the minus to remove we'll do it again and then down here is a list of all the applications running in the background you can toggle the switch to disable it so it no longer does that for step eight we're going to remove all the garbage files and to do this come back to the top left corner click on the apple icon and click on system settings search for storage settings and then click on storage settings and here it will give you a breakdown of everything that's being stored on your computer and when this gets past about 80 85 percent full the computer does start to slow down and so you do want to keep this clean or as clean as possible down here there are some recommendations you can move things over to iCloud you can optimize your storage you can empty trash automatically but the things you're going to want to pay attention to are down here now in step nine we will address applications so let's skip that one for now but documents you'll want to click on this little i and then make sure you have large files selected and you can sort by the largest files select and then delete them if they're no longer needed i would also recommend selecting file browser and going through each one of the folders over here on the left hand side and same thing just delete out as much as possible also make sure to clean out your downloads and then if you're dealing with a lot of system data or other data that's taking up a lot of space up here i would recommend opening up the finder and then with the finder open click on go up at the top go to computer select macintosh hd and then right here library and systems you'll you can extend these folders to get a view of what is taking up space on your mac and if you're looking at the size column and you don't see any information here on your keyboard hold down command j as in jared and then this window will pop up and just make sure that this box is checked to calculate all sizes and i would recommend that you be very careful what you delete here make sure you do a quick internet search just to make sure it's all right but just definitely underneath library just review what you have going on here what the biggest files are if you recognize it's something for an application you use and you don't need that data you can just go ahead and delete it but again be very careful especially underneath the system folders and you could even view users here as well 
if needed. For step nine, we're going to clean out and remove all of the garbage applications and programs. And to get started, come down here and click on the finder and then make sure you have applications selected. And the first thing we want to do is remove the two applications we installed earlier, Malwarebytes and Avast. Please do not leave them installed. We're trying to clean out the computer, not add to the clutter nor slow it down. And so we're going to come over here to the search, type in Malwarebytes, this Mac, hit the plus, name matches, type in Malwarebytes, hit the plus, change this to system files. If you do not see system files here, click on other and you will find it there and then change it to are included, select everything, click and drag to the trash can, enter your password. And then for Avast, we're going to click on Avast up here at the top and then open. Click on Avast in the top left, uninstall, continue, and then finish. Now that we've removed those two, what you need to do next is you need to go through and really scrub and clean out your applications list. You need to remove all the garbage, all the applications you no longer use. And the better job you do scrubbing this list, the better your Mac's going to run and it will increase security and privacy. Keep an eye out for toolbars or anything that claims to be a optimization or cleaning program. Those are usually bad, so I would recommend removing those. When you find an application that needs to be removed, just click and drag it to the trash, and you'll want to do that for everything that you're looking to remove. When you're done, open up the trash, and then click on empty trash, and then empty. For the last step, step 10, you'll want to click on the Apple icon in the top left and click on Restart. You will notice after Restart, Avast and Malwarebytes are removed from the top, and at this point you should be good and ready to go. However, if you still are experiencing problems or issues, I will post a link to a video down in the video description, down in the notes, to a tutorial on how to fully reset or factory reset your Mac to what it was when it was brand new. But that is everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.